More than 8.3 million doses of the COVID-19 vaccine have been administered statewide. That translates to a little over 27% of the populations that's now fully vaccinated. Given that so many Illinoisans are in the midst of getting shot one or shot two, we thought clearing the air of what you should expect to feel was worth a shot. Chris Dye is live at Northwestern Medical School with what the experts are saying. Chris. Erica, there are principally three drug makers and millions of drug takers in this country. For most of us, after a shot, we feel fatigued. But doctors are seeing about a dozen or so different kinds of symptoms. Tonight, the key and simple question is which ones are okay and which ones are cause for concern? If you've gotten the shot, you've probably gotten the question. I have been getting that question asked. Following day, a lot of aches in just in the right arm. I did experience full body chills. So we asked three big questions to one undisputed expert. So this has been a question on people's minds ever since we had the vaccine. Question one. Is there such a thing as how we should feel after shot number one or how we should feel after shot number two? The most common side effect after both shots, really the first shot is fatigue. People just feel tired. Your immune system is really cranking up. And so most people just want to go and take a nap. Other than fatigue, others that shouldn't cause alarm, fever, pain and swelling at your injection spot, mild headache, muscle pain, nausea or vomiting. Of concern to her, shortness of breath, blood clots, red bumps on the skin, severe headaches or sustained migraines, a numb arm or leg, slurred speech, tongue or lip swelling, or passing out within 30 minutes of injection. Which takes us to question two. Can we forecast who is going to feel these things more than others, or is it a complete crapshoot? The data suggests younger people will have more response, um, and anyone that had a prior infection may have more of a response. And with J&J sidelined, the third big question is about the two big brands. The concerns of people feel like Pfizer gives them less side effects than Moderna. Is there any science behind those kind of theories? So Pfizer and Moderna are almost you know, exactly the same vaccine. I, there can be small differences. There has been a discussion of redness in the site of the injection for Moderna that's been more witnessed than Pfizer. And she says, yes, it is more common to have a little bit of discomfort after the second shot, Erica, as compared to the first. Hmm, all right. So, Chris, that list of symptoms that are of concern, what is the best advice when we experience one of those symptoms? Yeah, she says if it is something that is very serious, like somebody is passing out or there is an extended period of numbness in a limb, you should maybe head to an ER. But if it's something like discoloration in the skin over a period of time, something a little more mild, she goes in that kind of situation, you can reach out to your physician. Thank you, Chris.